In this video, we solve problem 5.2.33 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says the probability of a randomly selected adult in one country being infected with a certain virus is 0.004. In tests for the virus, blood samples from 10 people are combined. What's the probability that the combined sample test positive for the virus? Is it unlikely for such a sample for such a combined sample to test positive. Note that a combined sample tests positive if at least one person has the, the virus. Now, the first question asks us to find the probability that the combined sample will test positive. I'll show you my paper so that we can calculate this. Okay. Um, so we know we're dealing with a binomial distribution because when you're talking about a person and whether or not they have the virus, they either have the virus or they don't have the virus. Also, notice that we are talking about blood samples from 10 people being combined. So that's 10 trials, n is equal to 10. And the question says, what's the probability that a combined sample tests positive for the virus? And then over here it says, note that the combined sample will test positive if at least one person has the virus. And then we're asked to find this probability that at least one person has the virus. So this is the probability that X is greater than or equal to one. Well, that's gonna be equal to the probability that exactly one person has the virus plus the probability that two people have the virus plus the probability that three people have the virus all the way up to 10 people because the probability that X is greater than or equal to one is the probability that X is one or two or three or four all the way through 10. Now that's a lot of calculation. Um, so there's a better way to think about this. We can think about this in terms of the complement. We can say the probability that at least one person has the virus um, is equal um, to the probability that um, well, actually, let's see, is equal to one minus the probability um, that no one has the virus. So if at least one person has um, the virus, if that's our event A, the complement is that no one has the virus. So that's X equals zero. So this is gonna be much easier for us to calculate rather than evaluating all 10 of those binomial probabilities, we can just calculate this one and subtract it from one and that's gonna give us the probability that we're looking for. So let's look at that formula. The probability of X successes and N trials is given by N factorial over N minus X factorial times X factorial times the probability of success raised to the X power times the probability of failure raised to the number of failures. Um, in that particular trial. Now in this case, we're going to use this formula to find the probability that X is equal to zero and N is equal to 10. So we'll have 10 factorial over 10 minus zero factorial times zero factorial times the probability of success in one trial. That's the probability of someone having a virus raised to the, the power of the number of people that have the virus. Well, we're talking about zero people having the virus times the probability um, that one person doesn't have the virus, that's our Q, um, raised to the um, N minus X. So that's gonna be 10 minus X. Now this is exactly the same result that we would get from the multiplication rule. This 10 factorial over 10 factorial is just one and zero factorial is one. So this is one because there's only one way that everyone um, can, um, well, it, there's only one way for everyone to not have the virus um, for us to have exactly zero people in our group of 10 that have, or that do not have the virus. And that's if, and the probability of that happening is this 0 0.996 times that 0 0.996 and you're going to multiply it, um, those together 10 times because we're multiplying the 
um, the probabilities that the first person doesn't have the virus times the probability that the second person doesn't have the virus times the probability that the third person doesn't have the virus and so on and we keep going and we get this. So you're gonna have one minus this number raised to the 10th. And we get approximately 0 0.0393. I round to four decimal places. Let's enter this on our homework now. So we have brass to round to three decimal places, so that's 0 0.039. I think I said, well, I think that's right. I may have said the wrong thing just a moment ago. Now the question says, is it unlikely for such a combined sample to test positive? Well, all you're gonna do to decide whether that's unlikely or not is you're going to compare that probability that we have to that 0 0.05. So remember what this means. So it says the probability that the combined sample will test positive is 0 0.039. So there's a 3.9% chance that that sample will test positive. 3.9% and 3.9% is less than 5%. Um, or we can say that the probability is less than 0 0.05. So that means that this event is pretty rare. Um, so that means um, if this event is rare, that means it's unlikely. So we're gonna say it is unlikely for such a combined sample to test positive because the probability is less than or equal to 0 0.05. And that's it for this question.